Hello mga kabatang helmet! Siyempre, hindi tayo pwedeng ano, no, mahuli sa latest chika. Di ba, videographer? Oo oh, naman. So, ito, mainit-init pa, majinit-jinit pa itong topic na to. Pero bago yan, sa lahat ng mga, mga bagong pasok sa chat, please don't forget to click the subscribe button ng Tiny Bell para lagi tayo updated sa lahat ng mga latest chika natin. So, ito, kinampail namin ni videographer lahat ng mga inatenda niyang mga ceremonies and recognition na binigyan siya ng honoris causa. Hindi lang siya basta nag-attend, yes. ha? Yes. Yung binigyan siya ng honoris causa. Or yung... Binigyan o in-award? In-award done. Hindi, yeah. siyempre, nag-research tayo, mga kabata oh, helmet. Hindi pwedeng, ano, yun? Oo, hindi tayo pwedeng fake news dito. So, meron kami mga resibo talaga. Pero yung iba, mga pictures na lang kasi, videographer. Mm -hmm. Especially sa PUP niya. So, ayan, dahil nga napanood nyo na yung full speech po ni Atty. Lenny Robredo, no? Sa Ateneo, videographer. So, mainit-init pa rin yan. Ateneo Dinaga. I Kasi naging keynote speaker din siya, videographer, eh. Nung binigyan din siya ng honoris causa Maka sa Ateneo Dinaga. Ano, gusto nyo full speech pa? Ba gusto nyo palang full speech? Hindi, eh, i-upload natin. <laughs> Mabalos. Let us take our seats. Father Roberto Ezequiel Rivera, Ateneo de Naga University President, Brother Raymond Belleza, Ateneo de Naga University Trustee, Mr. Magno Edelberto Conag, Ateneo de Naga University Trustee, Miss Edna Laguerta representing her father, uh, Mr. Eduardo Laguerta, our Bulawan Nabicol Non Service to be called awardee. Dr. Alfredo Fabay, VP for Higher Education. Dr. Rachel Casimiro, Shed 5 representative. Father Celerino Reyes, SJ, Ateneo de Naga University trustee. Father Wilmer Tria, President of the Bicol Association of Catholic Schools. Attorney Rene Cornelio Morano III, Ateneo de Naga University General Alumni Association President, the other members of the Board of Trustees, uh, our administrators, faculty and staff, um, the ADNU General Alumni Association, graduates, parents, family members, ladies and gentlemen, marhay na aga po sa Idogabos. Coming home to Naga has always provided a welcome respite from the bustle of the capital. Ever since we left the comforts of this city to delve into the world of national leadership and politics, returning has become a cherished opportunity for me to rest, to reflect, and to reorient myself towards the things that truly matter. Here in Naga, I am given plenty of room to collect my thoughts, to look back on how the many steps we've taken have brought us to where we are now, and to look forward to new horizons and plan how to get there. Today is no exception. I stand here before you, honored and humbled, by the conferment of this honoris causa. Happy to celebrate this very important milestone for all of you. Surrounded by many familiar faces within the hallowed grounds of this institution. This is especially a profound moment for me. Even though I myself studied elsewhere, many people I love and admire were graduates of Ateneo de Naga. The three most important men in my life, my father, my husband, and my only brother, spent many memorable years here. The lessons they learned, the values they acquired, forged them into men of integrity and moral courage. They stand as testament to what Athenians can contribute to society. And I am proud to now join their ranks as a fellow alumna with this honoris causa. 
I have spent some time contemplating the significance of this award, not only for myself, but for all of us gathered here this morning. At the heart of my reflections lies the profound truth that this honor is more than just an individual achievement. It is a recognition of the collective efforts of those who I have been fortunate enough to learn from, to work with over the course of my years in public service. It is always a privilege to have one's life work affirmed, especially by a community like the Ateneo de Naga. But I am also mindful of the reality that I am just one person among many others seeking to further the cause of good governance, a cause which entails huge responsibilities that extend far beyond my capabilities alone. This reality is also a constant reminder that any progress cannot and should not rest with an individual in the spotlight. It is tempting sometimes to rely on the will of a single leader. Too often, however, we realize that even the best of us sometimes need to be nudged towards new ways of thinking, new paths, new methods, especially given how quickly the world is evolving. And this brings me to the realization. I stand here today not as an endpoint, but as a bridge that connects the struggles, lessons, and achievements of the past with the potential of the future that lies ahead. And our forward movement, if it were truly to be meaningful and sustainable, must be led by those who will still be here when this future arrives. I am aware of how great the challenge can be. Today, we see how traditional political forces seek to reestablish roots even here in Naga, when it could not before, to undo decades of progress and bring back old backward ways of governance that perpetuate corrupt politicians, widen the gaps of inequality, and breed downward economic outcomes that we are already beginning to feel now. You bear witness to the persistence of inequality and injustices in your midst, even as you yourselves try to do right by your communities. All of this is happening against a backdrop of wars, climate emergencies, and crises the world over. The world definitely needs a lot of fixing. And so the questions, where do we even begin? What steps do we need to take? How do we even rise to the challenges of our times? These are questions I have been asking myself since I was your age. And even though I do not have all the answers, the truth of my experience allows me some hindsight and reassurance, which I am very much honored to share with you today. Ultimately, we circle back to a single word that has become my anchorage over the years. Together. We begin by fixing the world together. We step forward towards the horizon of our aspirations together. We rise to any challenge by coming together, by pulling together, by building and bleeding and raising the banners of the things we believe in together. Here in Naga and the rest of Bicolandia, we understand this well. After all, togetherness is just another word for our aspirations, for our city's continued people-centric, people-led style of governance. 
Nagenios have proven time and again that true progress is the result of collaboration of so many people working in lockstep to pursue a common goal. Our city became one of the foremost examples of good governance because of how we were able to create an environment of empowerment. We proved and continue to prove that the energies of participative democracy can be harnessed, that allowing space for each voice to be heard can yield progress. For more than three decades, we have thwarted many attempts for traditional politics to reign over us. Together is what we were when we built this city. And together is what we were when people from all walks of life linked up and waged a historical campaign for clean, truthful, accountable governance last year. Together is what we remain as we play the long game for our democracy, fighting to right the systemic wrongs, to assert truths that have become embattled by an entire architecture of lies, to reach the last, the least, and the lost, and loop in into a cycle of inclusiveness and compassion and progress. Together means looking forward to a better future that pushes us to always look around us because we gather strength from the idea that we are never alone. Together is how you stand up whenever the words of Primum Regnum Dei thunder during your regular general assemblies or whenever Atinian see each other in gatherings big and small. You sing, we'll fight and win or fight and die. You sing, we, knowing that neither triumph nor defeat can ever matter more than the truth of belonging and solidarity. So to the Ateneo de Naga University community, thank you for the education, the knowledge and wisdom and values that you provide for the youth of Bicolandia. Thank you for being a haven of critical thought and excellence. Most of all, thank you for your unwavering commitment to service. I only ask that you carry on your legacy of providing fertile ground upon which future generations may grow and flourish, where young minds may immerse themselves in our communities, witness firsthand the struggles faced by many in our society, and develop empathy, resilience, and the desire to make a difference. Girarai, congratulations, Batch. 2023. You have all worked hard for this moment, so savor it and celebrate it with the people who supported you and showed up for you every step of the way. Trust that you are capable of much greater heights than what you have already achieved and know that we all look forward to seeing you achieve your dreams. May you, together with each other and the rest of our country's youth, continue the struggle for good governance here in Naga, the rest of Bicolandia, and in the broader Philippine context. And to the selection committee, to those who nominated and vouched for me that I may receive this honor, to those who stood by me, did the work with me, and put their trust in me, just mabalus po sa indugabos. I hope we continue working together so that the youth who stand before us today can forge a path for progress towards a future where justice and compassion 
and solidarity reign supreme from Isarog to Bicolan to lofty Mayon Peak and beyond. Mabuhay ka mo gabos, Ateneo for God and you. Oh, oh, pag-usapan muna natin yung mga oh, ano. Pa, pa, ano pa, sige, sige, sige. Ano, usapang ano tayo. Sige, usapang yeah. ano tayo ngayon. Um, early learning, Charles. <laughs> Preschool. Sa preschool, nandiyan ang kinder and nursery. Nursery muna. Ah, nursery pala muna. Out. Nursery. Ibalik na ako sa nursery. Oh, nursery. Nursery, kinder. May kinder, kung meron ah. pa. May pre-kinder pa? May, 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 may mga ganong school na nabibigay. Ay, wawa. Ganon. pa pre-kinder? Oh, pre-kinder. After nun, elementary. Kinder na. Ah, kinder. kinder na. Oh, lahat yun, bibigyan. Parati kang nag-graduate na. Ay, wow. O, tapos, o, next tapos, lang preschool. Grade 1 ka na. Grade 1. Grade 2. Grade 3. Grade 4. Grade 5. Grade 6. Patalino ka na ng patalino nun. So, grade 6. Sa grade 6 ngayon, dahil nga may K-12 na, na, Moving up moving ceremony up. na ang tawa. Moving Hindi na siya graduation. Kasi pupunta na sila sa grade 7. Yun yung katumbas ng first year, first year high, high school. school oh, so, so, high school grade na. Seven. Grade 7, grade 8, grade 9. Grade 10, grade 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 moving up. Mm, moving grade up grade kasi kin may senior high na. Uh -huh. Pero dati graduation kasi ng fourth year lang before. Uh -huh. So, nung kinder, pwede kang bigyan ng moving. honors mo. Ah. So, meron oh, din ka ni Victorian doon. Hmm. Pero nung kasi yung kinder... Uy, ako first, first honor ako. Oh, di ba? Nung kinder. Oh, plus may contact awardee. Kung mabait ka, hindi ka nagsasalita. Ay, mga bata helmet, okay na na. Ako, natatanggap ko pa na ano eh. High school kasi wala na ako. Ay, grade 6 ko wala na akong honor. Pero, ano ako, contact awardee ako. Oh, ang bait, ang bait mo. Mm -hmm. Ano? Hindi naman. <laughs> <laughs> high school. Pag high school. Ano pa rin? Valedictorian, salutatorian. Pero pagdating ng... Honors, uh, ngayon kasi, di ba, ano na, may, uh, ano na, grade 11 and 12, tapos yun, graduation na. Pagdating yeah. ng college videographer, ayan na, depende ayan, na yan sa course nyo kung 4-year course, or 5-year course, or, or trimester, oh, di ba, 2-year course. course. Oh, so, ano dyan napapasok yung, gano'n ano pa rin, si, suma cum laude, magna cum laude. So, ano ba yung pinakamatalino? Suma o magna? Magna? <laughs> Magna. Yung binibigay na award ah, hindi. Ah, yun nga. Ma suma atay. Kasi oh. suma. Oh. Suma. Suma. Tignan mo <laughs> So yung first na pinakamatalino, so, yung Latin honors pala to. Si Suma Cum Laude. Suma Cum Laude. Ang sumusunod, si Magna Cum Laude. Si Magna Cum Laude. Tapos, Cum Laude. Si, si cum May mga Cum Laude. laude. With honors or with distinctions. Kung kung laude. Kasi high school nun, with honors, with distinctions. Oo, yun. Oo nga. Yan yung mga katumbas niya. Wala rin ako dun. So, consistent ka ba mula nung kinder? Consistent akong mabait. Mabait ka? Oo. Consistent ka mabait? Oo. Kunwari ako, nakagraduate ako, degree holder na ako. Eh, gusto ko pa pong... Mag-aral. Mag-aral. Para for professional growth. So, mag-MA ako. Ano yung MA? Master ako. Ah, yung mukhang to, mga kabata helmet, may MA ako. <laughs> Ay, paano ko wala? Ganito. Ganito si Magna, ang taas ko, ang tuwag na. Okay. O tapos, <laughs> yun yung masteral. Uh, pag so, yung pangalan mo, magkakaroon na. Juan de la Cruz. O, oh, Juan de la Cruz. So, narin, RN. RN. O tapos, may MA pa. O, oh, may MA. E, sa nursing kasi, it's either po naman or MSN ang titulo Ayan. mo. So, ayan. Eh, gusto ko pa mag-aral. Doctorate na. Kailan ka tatapos mag-aral? Depende. Kung anong ilang gusto years yung master aral. Oh, gusto ko pa mag-aral. Uh, Mag-doctorate na ako. Oh, wow. Doctorate ka na. Yun naman yung mga doktor na tinatawag na hindi po doctor of medicine. Uh, Kasi meron tayo. Di ba yung mga doktor? Yung mga doktor sa ospital. Uh, sila, doctor of medicine. Pero meron din pong yung tinatawag na PhD or uh, yun yung doctorate degree. Noong kurso na inatay na nila. Hindi natin oh, sa ano ha, sa MA. Si MA, nagkaroon ka nun kasi nag-aral ka uh -oh. sa school. Inaral mo uh -oh. siya sa school. Uh -oh. May teacher ka, may mga uh -oh. class ka. Inaral mo siya sa school. 
ganun din si PhD. Ah, ah, ah. Kasi sa school ah. ganun, mag-enroll ako eh. Mag-enroll ka oh, ako, si mga PhD. bata helmet. Mag-enroll ako. Mag-PhD oh, na PhD doctor ka. of nursing na ako. Oh, aaral ka ulit. Oh, ah. Doon sa school. Oo. Oh, ah. It's either na on-site ka or online. Online, oo. Oh, ah. Diba? Uso na tayo sa online, yes. on-site na yan. Yes, Baka, yes. Ano. So, eto ngayon, may teacher ka, meron ka mga kaklase, may grades ka doon. Oo, oh, may grades. Nag-memorize ka lang gusto, hindi ka matutulog. Oo. Kasi may exam ka eh. Tsaka in, a- aaralin mo para mabigyan ka nga nung, nung gano'n. Oh, Kasi depende yan yung cap, tsaka yung toga, kung ilang lines. Tapos yung, uno, yung honoris causa. Ayun yun sa na- napanood natin, binibigay siya talaga dahil napaka extraordinary yung mga pinaggagawa mo. Ay, wow. Hina, hindi na kung ano man yung ituturo sana, hindi na itinuro. Pero kasi, ginawa mo na eh, in-apply mo na. So talagang mataas na level na yun? Oo, kasi iba yung aral mo sa libro, di ba? So ito, in-apply mo na siya? In-apply mo na siya, ginawa mo na. Kailan na walang ka... nagtuturo sa'yo. Kailan na kaya... ikaw lang. Kailan kaya ako makakala ko honoris na? Ay, mga batang helmet, ako, kahit pala ako mag-PhD, hindi pa rin pala ako magagalit ng honoris causa unless na lang in-apply ko siya ng pangmalakasan talaga. Oo, yung todo-todo ha. Talagang, talagang wholeheartedly na sinabuhay ko lahat ng mga natutunan ko. Yung walang nagdidikta sa'yo. Oo. Oh. Ikaw sa sarili mo. Ang hirap din pala, no? Tsaka, kaya pala talagang it's an honor, like an honor student. <laughs> it's an honor, like an honor student. Pag nabigyan ka talaga niya, kaya Kasi talagang super wow super na wow talaga si Atorio Lenny Robredo. Walang katumbas yan ng halimbawa, nag-aral hindi siya ma- ka. Hindi mabibili yan. Hindi. Hindi mabibili yung ganyang moment, yung ganyang recognition, yung ganyang award. Hindi siya pwedeng mabili ng pera. Kaya mo bang gawin yung umakit ka ng bundok, naglalakad ka, nakachinelas ka, kasawa mo lahat ng farmers? Natulog ka sa bangka kasama ng mga mangingisda. Kaya mo? Kaya mo yon. Naglakad ka doon sa kalsada kasama ng mga ano sumilaw farmers. Kaya mo yon. Mahirap kasi, sagutin kasi, yung video ka pa unless na lang na-immerse eh. ka na doon. Oh, di ba? Diba? Mahirap niya. Pero kaya mo ba? So, ito na nga mga kabanang helmet. Panoorin na nga po natin yung mga previous na recognition uh, na inawardan. Ceremonies. Uh, yan yung ano, pang malakasan na may resibo talaga. So, ayan na. Just comment down below lang din kayo. Ay, patuloy kayo mag-comment dun sa ating online survey. Yes! Dahil binabasa rin namin yung video gapor. Uh, uh, Kukulate namin yung mga sagot uh, nyo. Siyempre. Kaya may mga pa-reflection tayo uh, dyan. Participate lang po kayo sa online survey. Yes. And huwag kalimutan i-share din yung channel natin. Video gapor. Yes. And subscribe din kayo sa isa pa naming channel na Batang Helmet sa Usawan. Uh-huh. Ibang klase naman sinasawsawan natin doon. And sa ating TikTok account na Batang Helmet na wala ka matay ang sinita. <laughs> So, ay mga bata helmet ha. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe pa rin uh-huh. tayo. Sabi nga may sasabuhin yung naging helmet nila book. It keeps getting better and better and better uh-huh. every day. Attorney Maria Lenor Lenny Herona Robredo was born on 23 April 1965 in Naga City, Camarines Sur. Her father, Antonio Herona, served as regional trial court judge and her mother, Salvacion Santo Tomas Herona, served as educator and dean at the Universidad de Santa Isabel. This is where young Lenny had spent her basic education years. In college, she went to the University of the Philippines, Diliman, to earn her degree in economics. Early in her career, she worked as economist for the Bicol River Basin Development Program. She also had a teaching stint at her alma mater, USI. With her father having once served in the courts, she aspired to become a lawyer. Despite the challenges of work and motherhood, she pursued her dream and persevered, finally earning her degree in law at the University of Nueva Cáceres in 1992. After passing the bar in 1997, she served as public attorney. Soon, she became a part of the Centro ng Alternatibong Lingap Panlingan. 
Attorney Robredo's earlier jobs enabled immersions in matters of service and management, observing and identifying the conditions of several areas, as well as providing assistance to indigent folks. Initially, Attorney Robredo did not seek herself the same path of public leadership like her husband, the late Honorable Jess Robredo, who was known for his authentic approach to governance by means of people participation and full transparency. However, the call, name, the, the call came to Attorney Robredo during the 2013 elections. She was invited to run for Congress. After careful consideration, just a few hours before the deadline, she finally filed for the Certificate of Candidacy. Attorney Robredo was elected as representative of the 3rd Congressional District of Camarina Sur. As member of the 16th Congress, she served as the Vice Chairman of House Committees on Good Governance, Public Accountability, and Revision of Laws. With the values of transparency and participatory governance as her guide, she authored the Full Disclosure Policy Bill, People Empowerment Bill, Participatory Budget Process Bill, and Comprehensive Anti-Discrimination Bill. During her time in Congress, she continued to be active on the ground, constantly visiting the residents in various rural areas to resolve matters and coordinate immediate needs. She also managed relief, rescue, and recovery operations, especially during the moments of calamity. The nation took notice just because of her efforts, but also her talent to initiate movement on people from various backgrounds. Due to her good record and exemplary leadership, her political party chose her to run for higher office. In the 2016 national elections, she won the vice presidency of the Republic of the Philippines. As the country's vice president, she continued her efforts on providing assistance to marginalized, which were made more concrete and coordinated via Angat Buhay. Through the program, both private and public sectors worked together to help fill the gaps in critically poor and far-flung areas of the country. During the outbreak of COVID-19, despite the challenges in budget and supplies, her team succeeded in providing logistical aid to frontliners as well as health and resource assistance to people under lockdown. Her efforts kept everyone's spirit up amidst uncertainty. Through her, the Filipinos saw a semblance of sincere hope and authentic, trustworthy management. Her approach to leadership was strongly supported by the pillars of transparency and accountability. This was concretely reflected when the Commission on Audit gave her office the highest rating in fiscal year from 2018 to 2021. Her office was also able to secure the 9001-2015 certification of the International Organization for Standardization. Though her loss at the most recent elections for presidential seat was unfortunate, Attorney Robredo's passion to help her fellow Filipinos remains strong. She reminded everyone to move forward despite setbacks, to find solidarity among those who continue to practice honest leadership and passionate volunteerism. Despite everything, she continues to serve as a guiding light to those who seek it. Currently, Attorney Robredo serves as the chairperson and president of Angas Pinas, Inc. A continuation of the Angat Buhay program which focuses on health, education, and disaster relief and rehabilitation. She was also invited as Hauser leader at the Harvard Kennedy School in Massachusetts. There, she shared her expertise and wisdom with regards to leadership. 
as well as critical insights on the dynamics of truth and disinformation. Therefore, in recognition of her exercise of good governance as former Congresswoman of the 3rd District of Camarines Sur and Vice President of the Republic of the Philippines, her continuing work in peace and development through the Angat Buhay Program, and her international stature as a democracy and leadership icon, the Ateneo de Naga University is most privileged to confer the degree of Doctor of Humanities Honoris Causa on Attorney Maria Lenor G. Robredo this 22nd day of June in 2023rd year of our Lord. And now, the rites of conferment. Father Rivera is now placing the doctoral hood and cap on attorney Lenny Robredo. Father Rivera will now present the diploma to attorney Lenny Robredo. Let us give attorney Maria Lenore G. Robredo, Doctor of Humanities, honoris causa, a round of applause. Sumilao Bukitnon acquire their own lands, ending a decade-long struggle in reclaiming their ancestral land. The 144 hectares accorded to the farmers who have been deprived of a better future and countless economic opportunities now have that opportunity to improve their lives, removing the shackles of poverty, of being enslaved by teeling lands they could never swear to call their own. With no inclination to enter politics, she could not deny the clamor of her people for a leader who will impose a revitalized image of genuine public service, an image they saw reflected perfectly by Lenny Robredo. As the representative of the 3rd District of Camarines Sur, she authored and co-authored bills centered on the welfare of people at the fringes of society or the Lailayan. 14 of the 121 bills she filed as author or co-author in Congress were signed into law. She was a champion of the Freedom of Information Act and sought transparency in government transactions. Some of her notable bills signed into law, such as the Tax Incentives Management and Transparency Act and the Sangguniang Kabataan Reform Act are all geared towards her advocacies. Lenny Robredo used her knowledge and practice of law for a much greater purpose. This echoes our university's tenet of using education as a catalyst for genuine social transformation. Perfectly in sync with the country's current state, she stands as a beacon of hope for those who have given up. She upholds the ultimate purpose of law, which is to protect one and all, regardless of background, and to grant them equal footing and protection under the eyes of justice. By virtue of the authority vested in the University of the Cordilleras by the Republic of the Philippines and upon recommendation of the Board of Trustees and in behalf of the entire university community, we hereby confer the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa on Maria 
Leonor Herona Robredo, Vice President, Republic of the Philippines. <clears throat> Bihang ipinaglob sa akin ng pamantasang Ateneo de Manila, iginagawad ko sa iyo, kagalang-galang na Maria Leonor Herona Robredo, ang titulong Doctor of Philosophy and Economics, Honoris Causa, kasama ng lahat ng karapatan at pribilehyong kaakibat nito. Congratulations! Congratulations!